Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a fun little Dollar Tree DIY to share with you today. Um, I believe everything I have can be purchased at the Dollar Tree, minus scissors and a glue gun, but your glue sticks can be purchased there. Okay, so let's start off with what I picked up. I purchased, and if you saw the thumbnail, it's a ghost. I purchased the 11.1 foot, three quarter, 3.4 millimeter diameter. It's the smaller of the two that they sell in this white. You can also get it at other stores, like the hardware store, and it will be more white. I think this is like a nautical rope. Uh, some black felt, because we're gonna be cutting, well, we can be cutting circles. I am not, but I just took a piece of paper I don't know where my paper circle is. I cut a circle. I used that diameter to make eyes and a mouth, um, glue sticks, some twine to hang it with. This is from the Dollar Tree, which I'm gonna double it up. So I just need like that amount. I can cut off any extra. Um, but I want this a little thick. I saw this today when I went to the um, Backwoods Festival. It's a craft show out in, well, the woods, the Backwoods out in, it's near Heath in Newark, Ohio. I can't remember the name of the town, but I need that tie, um, glue gun, string, and you want this type of rope, like a nautical rope, scissors. I think that's everything, glue stick. So here's what I did. I cut this open. right? And then it comes zip tied together. And I'm not too worried about if your end comes off or not, because we're going to cut this, but. And then I said, okay, well, I'm going to make however many loops that is, four. So I took it and I said, okay, in half and in half one more time. And these are about 16 inches long or a yard, 32 inches for the whole loop. So one whole loop here is about 32 inches long. But what we're gonna determine is how big do we want our ghost and how long do we want the bottom piece? And I think for the center of our ghost, I feel like this is long enough, which I'm using my Dollar Tree. So we'll start this at three inches. Do you see that there? There's my three inch mark. This is the center of the loop. We're gonna glue it down the middle. And I'm doing it on this Dollar Tree um, mat because I don't wanna get hot glue on my good mat, see? See how we do things? And then I'm just going to, and what I will try to do, see how some of the glue, I'm gonna try to keep one side not quite as messy as the other. And look, I already have glue all over my mat. That's why we're using a Dollar Tree mat and not my good mat. You can also use a Dollar Tree cutting board, but I wanted to be able to measure. Okay, so we're good right here, right? Three inches. We're gonna take the next one. We're gonna make sure we're in half because we're gonna have to trim this at the bottom, but we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna make sure he's right here. So I'm gonna glue around the outer of this. Or you could do on the inside, it doesn't matter. But I'm trying to stay towards the back if I can to keep the glue mess on one side and that would be the back side. All right, that's gonna have to dry for a second. And you can make these ghosts as big as and as long as you want. So easy. So that'll be the front side. And this is the back. So this is where it's going to be just a little messy. And I might want to put just a little bit of glue right in that spot right there. Not worrying. Okay. And then we're going to go one more. Around the outside. And then in a second, I'm going to have to put a new glue stick in. And then 
and we're just going to keep going. And this is this is the point where we want to make sure it lays flat. So I can really take my other mat if I want or something. Here, I'll take this plastic bag. I just don't want it on my hands and it's hot. All right, there we go. Now we'll feed a new glue stick in while we're waiting for that to dry for a second. And then we have our last one, which is gonna go out. And you definitely want craft scissors for this little project and not, um, we're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna switch it around for a second. You want craft scissors and not your sewing scissors for this little project here. And I think for this fourth one, I'm just going to tack it up here at the top so it stays in place. I hope you're seeing this. Just a little tack it right here. And we are doing this on the fly, guys. I have never made this either. But it just was so darling. I don't even know how much she was selling them for. Because I was like, oh, well, that's a Dollar Tree project if I ever saw one. There we go. Ooh. All right, well, we got some glue on the front. That's not good, but I'll get it off there. We'll let this side do its thing. Oh. Um, we're stuck. Well, let it dry a second. And then I will peel it off. There we go. I'm a disaster today. And then we'll come over here and pick it out. Mostly because I want the front to be pretty, but as you can see, I've made it a mess. But it's okay, it's all right, it's okay. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go down this little side right here. And maybe a little less of the old glue. We can also put a bow on this ghost and make it a gear roll. Okay. So we got everybody down. We're gonna trim out that little piece of glue right there. All right, so while that is doing its drying, we're gonna get down to this end. And what we would like to do, and I'm going to get a bigger pair of scissors. But we want this rope to be even. Right at the bottom. Right there. And if it's a little off, it's okay. But we're going to hope for the best. There, this these big scissors work much better than the little ones. And I think this would be really cute. Um, also, if you got some like glow in the dark yarn. Now, while this, again, up here, let me get this out of the way. That's drying still. We're gonna come down here to the bottom. And all we're gonna do is untwist this rope. And I want the big chunks, I don't want the little ones. I don't wanna brush it out and make it like frizzy looking. Like my hair in the morning. All right, give me a minute and I'll be back after I unzhuzh everybody. Okie dokie, so I made a cup, one little boo-boo for sure. I forgot to put my hanger in here, so I stuck it on a needle going to find the center-ish, and we're just going to feed it through. That's all. No big deal. No harm. No foul. And now I have my hanger. We'll tie a little knot at the top. And cut that off. 
So now we have a hanger. These big needles are great to have around. Okay, so for the face, oh, here's what the bottom looks like. That's the bottom of our ghost, isn't it? Everything. I love it. All right, so back to the face. I just dug through my old button jars and I grabbed just some black buttons that I thought would be fun for the face. And let's see, we have those two for the eyes and the, if we want a mouth. I don't know, do we want a mouth? Question mark. All right, let's just say we'll use these two for the eyes. You can also use felt, but I thought this would be fun. And get that up on there. And then if you want a mouth, you give them a mouth. If you don't, well, you don't. There we go. All right, let me get his little eyes on. Ah. I love it. And they don't match, which I also love. And then we can give him like a little mouth. Now, if you want it to be a cutesy ghost, put a bow on it. But I kind of like this one. And I will do a picture when everybody dries, I'll show you when they're hanging up. And maybe I'll make a second one that's not so much glue. Oh, I love it. Okay, I shall be back. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. So I decided to go ahead and do like a boy and a girl with a bow. I have to tell you, I like the girl much better, but they're going to look so cute hanging in my house. I'm so excited. Guys, these were so easy and literally $1.25 to make because all you need is the rope. And these can be adorable little gifts. Um, I would say his face is a little close, but you know, put your eyes where you want. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Bye.